Today I am going to share with you highlights of National Curriculum Framework for School Education NCFSE 2023. The NCF 2023 envisions a transformative education system aligned with NEP 2020, focusing on holistic development, teacher empowerment, engaging pedagogy, cultural integration, and sustainable practices. The National Curriculum Framework envision the creation of a robust and achievable education framework aligned with the National Education Policy 2020. This aims to empower states and promote educational harmony national wide. The NCF and State Curriculum Framework, SCF, aspire to provide a high quality, inclusive education to all students, ensuring their holistic development and adaptability. The NCF 2023 aims to cultivate well-rounded, ethical, creative, and compassionate learner who can excel in higher education and careers. The emphasis is on nurturing lifelong learning skills and adaptability to societal changes, fostering active participation and contribution to the cultural, economic and democratic fabric of society. The NCF 2023 seeks to transform society by promoting justice, equity, sustainability and Indian cultural values. This vision aligns with the India's global leadership in diverse areas from economic growth and scientific advancement to social justice and cultural preser preservation. The education system should visually uphold these goals through its content, teaching methods, the school environment and cultural practices. The NCF 2023 aims to create an education system that nurtures well-rounded individuals capable of lifelong learning and active societal engagement. This system contributes to India's holistic growth, fostering equity, sustainability, and cultural vitality while maintaining global leadership. Now I would like to uh, discuss point-wise the beauty and the, the the characteristic of NCF SE 2023. So first, comprehensive curriculum framework covering all four stages of schooling. The NCF SE comprehensively covers all the four stages of schooling. The NCF SE has articulated the learning standards to be achieved and the principle for selection of content pedagogy and assessment for achieving the learning standards. This NCF is aligned with NEP 2020, developed for five plus three plus three plus four schooling structure as proposed in NEP 2020. Fulfill NEP's calls for a comprehensive NCF SE. Enable real empowerment improvement in practice of education in the country. The NCFS is designed to enable the help and help actual change in practice on the ground. The NCF has made conscious and deliberate effort to communicate to all stakeholders in a school education, including curriculum and syllabus developers. So it is usable in practical circumstances teacher and parent community can also comprehend the intention of the curricula that is developed on the basis of NCF 2023. It talks about learning a standard with clear, specific and rigorous flow down. It articulates a specific learning standards for all school subjects that gives clear direction for action for all stakeholders in a school system, particularly teachers. The learning standard have defined a specific competencies to be achieved at the end of each stage 
for each school subject. There is a clear, specific, and rigorous flow down of curricular logic from the broad aims of a school education to a specific curricular aims of each subject, resulting in curricular goals and competency for a specific stage in that subject. It talks about development of knowledge, capacities, and values. The curriculum focuses on development of knowledge with genuine understanding. fundamental capacities such as critical thinking and creativity and constitutional and human values ncfsc 2023 talks about empowering teachers in a school the ncfsc designed to enable and empower teachers and the schools for the full flowering of their creativity and enhanced engagement NCFSC 2023 talks about engaging and effective pedagogy. It enables the entire range of age and context appropriate pedagogy from play based, active based, inquiry based, dialogue based and more. This would also use effective widely available and highly engaging teaching learning material including textbook. NCFSC 2023 talks about transforming assessment including exams assessment and exams at all level to be transformed to enable genuine learning and reduce stress including the board exam it shifts assessment focus from fact to genuine learning and competencies introduces a stress reducing change to exam format including board exams board exam it talks about imports importance of a school culture a school culture and practices are to be developed as an integral and important part of the curriculum ncfsc 2023 talks about the ethos of indian culture the curriculum is rooted in india and is informed by the wealth of indian knowledge and thought on education contribution to the knowledge in various disciplines by indians from the ancient to contemporary times have been integrated into the curricular goals of all the school subjects ncfsc 2023 talks about multidisciplinary education all children go through multidisciplinary education to develop an integrated and holistic perspective and learning it talks about equity and inclusion the ncf se is informed by principle to ensure equity and inclusion in all its aspects from content and pedagogy to a school culture and practices ncf se talks about renewed emphasis on art and physical education and well being the school subject of arts education and physical education and well being are given a renewed emphasis in the curriculum by defined a specific learning standard to be achieved and recommended time allocation in the school time tables art education encompasses both visual arts and performing arts and has equal emphasis on making thinking about and appreciating art work it talks about physical education and well being gives emphasis to sports mind body wellness through practice like yoga and ideas on incorporating traditional indian games and sports into the curriculum so reinforces art education physical education well being environmental education and vocational education ncfsc renews focus on multidisciplinary learning conceptual math understanding and scientific inquiry capacities ncfsc talks about environmental education responding to the triple challenge of climate change wide diversity loss and pollution and the critically of environmental awareness and sustainability in today's world environmental education is given due emphasis across all stages of schooling culminating in a separate areas of study in the secondary stage 
NCFAC 2023 talks and give importance on vocational education. The NEP 2020 has made a strong recommendation for vocational education to be an integral part of school education and the NCF has included a specific learning standard, content pedagogy, an assessment for vocational education for all stages of schooling. The curriculum proposed engagement in three different forms of work, work with life form, like agriculture, animal husbandry, work with materials and machine, and work in human services. NCFAC 2023 talks about much, you know, much talked multilingual and Indian language. The NCF has given the necessary emphasis on multilingualism and on learning language native to India. Given the rich multilingual heritage of India, it expects all students to be proficient in at least three languages, at least two of which are native to India. It expects a student to achieve a literary level of linguistic capacity in at least one of these Indian languages. NCF SC2023 talks about conceptual understanding and procedural fluency in mathematics. The school subject of mathematics and conceptual computational thinking has emphasis on conceptual understanding along with procedural fluency with the goal to appreciate the beauty and universally universality of mathematics and reduce fear of the subject. Higher order curricular goals such as problem solving, mathematical thinking, coding and communication are given due importance in NCFSC. NCFSC 2023 talks about capacity for scientific inquiry. Science education emphasizes the development of capacity for scientific inquiry along with acquiring knowledge of fundamental theories, laws, and conceptual structure of science in disciplines such as biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. It talks about interdisciplinary understanding of social science through themes. The social science curriculum expects a student to systematically study human societies and explore the relationship between individuals, society, the natural environment, social institution, and organizations. This is to be studied through themes in an interdisciplinary manner in the middle stage and developing disciplinary depth in the secondary stage. Flexibility in choice in secondary stage. The secondary stage has been significantly redesigned to offer more flexible and choice for a student. There is no hard separation between academic and vocational subject or between science and social science, art and physical education. A students can choose interesting combination of subject for receiving their school living certificates. NCFSC talks about interdisciplinary areas of study. How? Interdisciplinary areas of studies has been introduced as a separate subject of study in the secondary stage. In this subject, students develop the ability to reason about contemporary challenges using knowledge from multiple disciplines, including moral and ethical concerns. They are expected to use their abilities to understand and respond effectively to the concern of environmental degradation that include climatic change and biodiversity loss. So these are 20 plus highlights from national curriculum framework for a school education 2023. And uh, I am Rajiv Ranjan. Thank you so much.